Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. Today my friends are going to be testing the HD7870 in Call of Duty Warzone or the Battle Royale mode of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. This one is the ASUS DirectCU2 model from, uh, of course, ASUS. And it's clocked at 1000 megahertz here on the core clock and 1200 megahertz on the memory clock. It is the 2 gigabyte version as you can see right there. And we're running a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM with it. Of course, by the way, the CPU is extremely overkill for this graphics card but you should be able to achieve the same frame rates with something like a 1200 Ryzen 3 1200 and 12 or 16 gigs of RAM just keep in mind that if you have 8 gigs of RAM it's not enough to run this game so we're gonna be playing of course at 1080p as well as 900p and 720p maybe at 800 by 600 if it isn't really playable at 720p but I think it will be uh, the texture resolution is set to low instead of very low because we have the 2 gigs of VRAM here it doesn't really affect your frame rates and it will make the game prettier everything else is disabled or set to the low settings except these two caches which help your frame rate a little bit if you have 16 gigs of RAM they are RAM dependent so if you have a lower amount of RAM than 16 I would suggest you just to disable those okay so let's get into it oh wait wait a second I, I want to do solos yes and here we go, very close to 30, which is quite impressive for a GPU this old. This is an 8-year-old, like, uh, mid-range card, I would say. Back in 2012, it was a mid-range card. So, yeah, this is okay. Oh my god, wait, it's, it's not okay anymore. It's dropping into the teens right now. Let's just drop somewhere, actually. By the way, our ping is extremely high at 130 to 150 right now. So, that might be due to the servers just being a little bit broken at the moment of course the game is still in beta as well and there's a ton of people online right now but anyways let's move on here with our Mozambique uh, as you can see our textures don't seem to be loading very well we saw the same problem with the GTX 950 as well and I don't know why these GPUs are, are performing like this but it's okay as long as it's performing well you know what I'm just gonna restart it just in, in case you know well guys, I just restarted the game, I don't think the textures are good yet, as you can probably tell they're pretty muddy still and as we approach the ground they should start to load in, as you can see right now, but they aren't really that good yet, okay, so uh, they're, they're still pretty... Yeah, they're still pretty muddy up close. I'm not sure why this happens. As I was telling you about in the previous game, it's nothing like game-breaking. You can still spot people at the distance pretty well, and you actually might be able to spot people better because, of course, there's less visual noise in your game. Guys, actually, I'm kind of impressed. Down here, we're getting pretty decent FPS, above 30 FPS all of the time at 1080p. This, back in 2012, compared to to something like a GTX 660 I think and the 660 couldn't really handle this game at above 30 FPS at 1080p we had to lower the resolution to 720p for it to be like playable above 40 FPS all of the time and this one seems to be very good actually I'm very very impressed with this card right now also this is still the same HD 7870 that I fixed with the hair dryer by the way this is still holding up strong here for those of you that said that it will probably break after like three hours of gaming or so uh, it's not the case it's been like a few months I've tested a ton of games on it already and it's running very well it's been running very well ever since Jesus Christ the I think that's the server actually because we're getting 90 milliseconds of ping right here not perfect but not horrible just like that little series you know can we do this actually Nah, uh, it's not gonna... Yeah, okay. <laughs> pretty close, though. Pretty close. Reminds me of Battlefield, these moments, actually. <laughs> you know, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, pretty good games. I actually enjoyed those a lot when those came out. And back then, I actually played with a GT... Jesus Christ! GT 630M laptop at, like, 30 to 40 FPS, and I was fine, you know? So it's kind of the same experience as we're getting here with the HD 7870. 
not bad at all, you know, it's completely playable at uh, 1080p if it wasn't for the servers being totally broken right now. Now let's go ahead and hide ourselves over here, uh, I don't think I'm hidden too well, but okay. Oh boy, it's actually getting 26 FPS right here, what the heck? This little spot is really really demanding for some reason. Alright guys, 1600 by 900 as you can see right there, 100% render resolution, everything else is still the same, still the low textures, uh, still these to enabled and everything else disabled are in the lowest settings and uh what the heck we're still getting the same fps in this little spot this might be broken like this little spot right here it might be like a uh, apex legends actually what the hell is going on it's performing worse than 1080p why why is this happening right now maybe because we're rendering all of the city right now from here this is really weird i've never seen a car perform worse at 900p than 1080p you know what let me just check the clock speeds on it okay it's it's running well uh 1000 megahertz still there's no problems not thermal throttling whatsoever it's actually running pretty cool oh boy Oh boy, I'm glad those guys didn't see me. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Start counting the FPS once again because our 1% lows just got messed up by us just alt-tabbing there. But, well guys, um, I am really confused right now. What the hell? 30-something? <laughs> I was expecting like a 40 plus FPS experience from this card. What the hell? Look at that. Look at the difference. We're getting 30 FPS right here. And we get into here and we get 70 something, almost 80 FPS. What the hell is going on? It might be the architecture, maybe? Probably not, because AMD's GPUs actually all have pretty much the same architecture since like these HD 7000 series, you know, it's GCN or some other variations of GCN. It's only now with the new Navi cards that they changed their architecture. So it might not be an architectural problem, like for example, the GTX 780, but this is really, really weird guys. Okay, it's just performing worse <laughs> at 900p than 1080p. You know what? Whatever you do, don't play at 900p, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe driver problems? It's still fine if you lock your FPS to 30 and if you're after that 30 FPS experience. It, this is it, you know, the, the 7870 can actually provide you with a playable experience, but uh, the, the game just doesn't look very good, as you can probably tell with these textures. It should be like 10 FPS higher than this, but it's alright. Uh, 37 FPS average and 28 1% lows. Let's go ahead and drop it down to 720p now and see if that actually makes a difference. Uh, 1280 by 720, everything's still the same, of course, and now, yes, finally, we're seeing a difference here. So, the, the gas is right here, by the way, and yes, okay, so this is much smoother now, we're getting in the 40s and 50s sometimes, uh, this is what I wanted, okay? I was kind of expecting this experience at 900p and maybe closer to 60 at 720p, but for some reason the game is a bit broken maybe, and at least on this GPU, but uh, we, we, there we go, into the 30s again. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, at least we saw a jump in FPS now, you know, at least our averages are gonna be better and we aren't really in the low 30s yet. That's a much better experience, but maybe, just maybe, this generation of GPUs is getting old here for the newest titles, okay? Or maybe the latest drivers aren't really that well optimized when it comes to the 7000 series of GPUs, you know? I don't know, man. I'm really, really lost here. <laughs> Please, guys, help me in the comments, because I really don't understand what's going on. Many, many shots coming from there, I think, and I can spot anybody. We should just keep on moving here. All right, we're approaching the circle once again. Jesus, what the heck? Did the chopper just crash or what? We're still getting FPS into the low 30s sometimes, so I would say it's probably an issue with the drivers and these older GPUs, probably, guys. So I'm curious to see how the R9 280 will do as well, because that's also an old card from AMD. That's actually a rebranded HD7950, so keep tuned in because it's probably the next video here in the channel. And uh, 
I don't know. Okay, there he is. What do I have? Machine gun. Nope. I'm probably just gonna leave. Yep. That's a good idea, isn't it? I don't even know why I'm trying, because I will I will die. I will definitely die and lose this one. I'm not gonna win anything here. Okay, at least I got one. Alright, I'm happy now. Alright, we got one kill here with the 78... Uh, 70, not 50. Also, another interesting thing about this GPU. This is kind of similar, like in horsepower and shader units and stuff like that, to the PS4's GPU. For those of you interested in that kind of stuff, the consoles, this is the PS4 version on the PC. Of course, the PS4 has tons of optimizations going for it, so it will probably run much better than this, but still, it's okay. It released back in 2012 and it's still running Call of Duty Warzone without a problem at 720p or 1080p because 1080p ran also at pretty decent FPS. It's just weird to say that. <laughs> Alright, sometimes you can actually reach 60 FPS, but you know what? Oh, come on. It's kind of impressive. Oh my gosh, I'm right into it. Okay, yeah, over here it's very good, the FPS. As you can see, it's gonna be above 60 and in the multiplayer, I think it was also very playable at 720p. It's very... It's... Oh, headshot, nice. It's very interesting to see that this GPU is like struggling a little bit here with Call of Duty Warzone because the GTX 660, for example, which uh, again was comparable to this one back in the days, that one is usually way less powerful than this one in the latest titles and stuff like that and here in Call of Duty that's just not the case it's the other way around actually I think that 660 did pretty well at 720p always above like 40 FPS almost so um, yeah it's just interesting to see that. At least if you have this GPU you can still play the game, make sure that you have enough RAM of course, like 12 gigabytes minimum as you can see right there, it's the RAM usage is almost touching the 11 gigabyte mark right there, so 12 gigabytes is mandatory, 8 gigabytes is not enough in this game, it's, it will stutter a lot with that amount of RAM, so stay away from this if you do have 8 gigs. Oh boy, the guy definitely saw me, right there. Okay, oh I got him! Oh, he has a self-reviving thingy, so we should just get him down now. Okay, nice. The guy's outside right now. Oh no! Oh my god, seriously! Thank you so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The game is playable here with the 7870. As you could see, we managed to get three people as well, so not bad at all. And I will hopefully see you in the next one with the R9280, so keep tuned in, okay? Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out our secondary channel where we just play games here, me and Digimon. So if you're interested, the link is down down below in the description and as always I love you all bye bye